Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco Hummingbird 17FD. I like this unit if you're looking for a small camper and you want a place where you can still entertain guests and have a place for them to stay the night, then this may be one you'll enjoy as well. Now it's an FD because of course it is a front dinette. You can see that right here, big U-shaped dinette. You notice they do have a cutout here so that way you can easily slide into the other side. But as I mentioned, this is great. This gives you, gives you a spot to sit around if you wanna have a couple of drinks with some friends or maybe play a game of cards. This gives you a place in which you can do it. And if they do wanna stay the night, this does drop down and again, you can sleep two adults here. You'll see a little net up front, so that way if someone needs to you know, put some cell phones or something up there, they have a place where they can put it, it's not going everywhere. A couple electrical outlets too, if they have to plug it in, you have electrical outlet here, another one over there. So plenty of places to plug in your phones. You'll see on both sides, you have some windows here to let in natural light. And at night, you have a bunch of LED lights in here. It's a very well-lit camper. You won't feel closed in and claustrophobic at all. Of course, you have your entry door here, but right over to this side is your entertainment center. So exactly where you'd want the TV, you know, so it's a great shot here to the dinette. Connected to that is your multimedia center right up top. That is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can do that. Also, while you're up there, you'll see you have a couple of controls here for lights, your slide out as well as your power awning, tank monitoring panel here. Notice the water heater does run off both propane and electric, and you can turn both of those on at the same time for quicker recovery. You'll also see you have some additional storage there, as well as a little additional storage here underneath. And again, you do have that net built in, so stuff's not rolling around. This is cool too, they give you this indoor-outdoor composite table. So, you know, in this floor plan, again, it's probably mainly outdoor. But I like the fact that it stores away nice and easily here. When you want it, you just take it outside, set it up, and you have that additional table there. You'll also notice you have some coat racks right here, which is pretty cool. So you walk in, hang your jackets up, you're good to go. You have this kind of like magazine rack right here, or spices rather, uh, it's a magazine rack. You have to put spices in there, and then you have your paper towel bar right here. So, you know, everything is conveniently kind of stored right there. Right underneath that is your thermostat, so you can quickly and easily adjust your heat. Your AC is actually controlled right on the AC itself. That unit is right up top here. So, you'll control the fan speed with this knob. The other one, of course, will be your thermostat, depending on how warm or cold you want it. Uh, again, you have another little uh, net right here. So, you'll kind of see these throughout. You know, again, they're very versatile depending on what you want to put in there. Now, right here is our slide out, slide out kitchen. You'll see you have your convection microwave oven here, which is, you know, definitely a good choice in a smaller camper like this. You want that space saving, so that's a good option. Directly underneath here, of course, is your fridge freezer combo. We'll open this up. You can see your little drop down control right there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then right down underneath, you have this additional drawer here, which is cool, you know? A lot of manufacturers don't put this in here. There's other manufacturers that make this floor plan, or it's very, very similar. Uh, so I'm glad that they did actually utilize that space down there. Of course, your main prep surface is right here. If I remove this uh, beautiful poster that came with the unit, you can see all the space you have in the back. Electrical outlet there too, which makes perfect sense, folks. That's where you're gonna put your coffee maker, toaster, things like that. Two burner cooktop right up front, single basin sink here over to the side, and then a window for natural light. Some additional storage right up top here. You gotta love that. And then if you take a quick look underneath, you have storage right over here underneath the sink. And then to be a functional kitchen, in my opinion, you have to have at least one drawer and there it is. I prefer two, but again, in a floor plan like this, it's a little tough. At least with the one, you have a spot in which you can put the majority of your silverware. Uh, we'll get to the bed in just a second. First, I do want to take a look at the bathroom. There is a full length mirror here, folks. So, you know, if you want to get up, kind of take a look at yourself, you can do that there. Make sure your outfit is coordinating, right? And then, you know, like uh, most, I, it's not truly a teardrop, I guess I can call it a pod style trailer, as we know our pod kind of started this. But if we take a look in here, uh, you know, this is your classic wet bath. So you have your, uh, the floor is your shower drain there. You can see the hand wand, currently it's lying on the floor, but there is a holder for it. Your toilet is right there as well, foot flush lever toilet. You can see you have a little sink there. Right here you have these guys. Again, this is pretty common. You know, that gives you a spot to put like your soap and shampoo. Right here is where your, uh, your hand shower will sit at. You have an LED light in there in case you are, you know, using the bathroom at night, you have to be able to see, and then there's a vent fan in there as well. 
So then if we take a look up front, this of course is the queen bed. This is the main bed where you know, you'll be sleeping. You have a net on this wall. You have a net over here. You have two windows here. I'm sorry, you have three windows. You do have the small one in the front there. So uh, three windows here with an emergency exit, which is great. And if you take a look underneath, you will see you have storage underneath there as well as a dual USB port. So again, you can charge some electronics. All right, folks, now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside of the Jayco Hummingbird 17FD. Right up front here is your power tongue jack. This is great to have. Makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip a switch to raise and lower your tongue. You'll also see you have an LED light right up here on the front in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind that, you have a single 20-pound propane tank. There is a soft shell cover that comes with this as well, so that way it's not just a big, ugly propane tank there. And behind that, you see rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is this like black uh, kind of diamond-etched plating to help protect your front end from some of those rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You do have four LED marker lights here. I just haven't turned them on, but those are uh, additional blue lights. And if you take a look at the front here, this is one-piece fiberglass, folks. If you're not familiar with this, uh, you know, some people call them teardrop, even though it's not truly a teardrop. Probably more proper term, like I mentioned inside, is a pod style trailer, uh, where it's one piece fiberglass from the front here all the way up on top and down the back. Uh, a couple advantages of that, the main one being it helps prevent water intrusion. The reason is the more seams you have in the roof, the more holes up there, the greater chance for water to get in. So by being one piece, you eliminate that cross seam so you don't have, uh, you know, uh, a bunch of water getting in there. And plus, because the natural curvature of the roof, the water wants to run to the front and back, where again, there are no seams. So it is nice having the one piece construction there. The sidewalls of this one are vacuum bonded. So laminated sidewalls in here, aluminum structure there. Excellent construction in the Hummingbird. We take a look right up front. We can see the uh, front storage here. You'll also notice that switch. That is for those marker lights up front. Uh, so, you know, if again, if you want to turn those on, that is where you would do it. Power awning on here, folks. This is cool. This is something that is not super common on these pod style trailers. I know some manufacturers have them as an option. Some of them are going to standard now too, but certainly not on all of them. Uh, but definitely a great option to have. Just touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to go right back in. Uh, you do have an adjustable pitch on there, and as you can see, this one has multicolored LED lights. Now, they're not always going to be flashing like that. You can have one solid color if you want or turn them off completely, but I just kind of want to show you the whole spectrum uh, to let you know you do have some different color options there, which is cool. When we go to the step, so this one has what they call the Baja package, which does a couple things for you. One, it gives you the two aluminum steps instead of one because it raises the entire camper up. You have five inches of clearance underneath, which is great. And you get the 15 inch off-road tires right here. So, uh, you know, that definitely not off-road compared to like a truck tire. You know, the way I grew up going off-road is a whole different thing than taking a trailer off-road. But for, you know, off-road trailer tires, that's pretty darn good. Uh, but back to the steps real quick. So aluminum steps, folks, those are great because the aluminum's not going to rust out on you. It also has the grip tape on there. So even if it's wet, you'll still have some traction. You won't slip and fall. And you have the foldable grab handle here as well. So again, that way you do have control when entering or exiting, even from that ex those extended steps there. If you want to watch TV outside, not a problem. You have the mount right here. Your uh, cable and satellite outlet will be right there. And then you have an electrical outlet so you can plug everything in there. Or if you just want to listen to some music, you also have two speakers out here that are connected to that multimedia center inside. But that unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can sit right here underneath your awning, use your phone or tablet to be able to control it. Uh, so the, the wheels themselves, again, they do have the upgraded, the 15 inch tires. You know, you can see there's definitely a lot more traction on there than your standard uh, trailer tire. And then the wheels themselves are aluminum uh, alloy wheels. So, you know, they look great now. They'll continue to do so because aluminum doesn't rust. So beautiful wheels there. Nitrogen filled tires as well. Right in the back here is a second storage area. I, I do have this box in here, so it's a little tough to see, but you can kind of take a look up front there and see that it is actually a pretty sizable storage area, which is awesome, especially on a smaller RV. Propane quick connect right back here. If you like to cook outside, I know I do. You can set up your grill, pu uh, plug it in right there. It'll feed off your 20 pound bottle up front instead of having to bring the small little green ones. And you have your bumper right here. So this is cool too. You know, again, not all of your 
pod style trailers have these, but just, you know, pop your end cap off. You can store your sewer hose in there so you don't have to store it with everything else. Also mounted on there is your spare tire, which hopefully you never have to use, folks. But if you do, it is easy to get at. Probably, you know, the easiest location right back here in the bumper. And it has the cover, so hopefully it'll be in good shape for you. Right up top there, you'll see that is your, um, your backup camera prep. So if you do want a backup camera, you know, I know it's not a huge camper, but especially if you go camping by yourself or, you know, if your wife is like mine where I love her to death, but she's just not the best spotter in the world, having a backup camera is great. That way you can see what's behind you to make sure you're not going to hit anything. And having the prep means less labor, meaning it's cheaper to install. And this is that rear window we saw when we were uh, by that bed there. You know, I showed you we had two on the side, one in the back. That is that one right there. Coming around to the off door side, folks, outside shower right here that does have both hot and cold water access. 30 amp detachable power cord there. Right here is your cable and satellite inlet. And if you take a look underneath, that's going to be your termination. Look how high it is up off the ground. That's part of that clearance package, right? So that is one of two. That will be your gray tank. You can see that valve there. The black one is right up here, but again, it is nice and high, so you don't have to worry about hitting things if you're taking this to a little more remote locations. Right up on the slide here itself is your black tank flush. This one does come equipped with one. Again, something not all your pod models have, and that's great. Just hook a hose up right there. The black tank has sprayers built into it, and it'll help wash out and get some of that stuff that normally sits on the bottom of your black tank. Lastly, if we take a look right up here, you will see your fresh water fill right there. So if you plan on taking this somewhere where you don't have city water, that is where you'll fill your tanks. If you do have city water, you'll hook that up right there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco Hummingbird 17 FD. If you're interested in this little travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.